What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, on near, we have another notice and it's a freaking big one. This is what everyone's been talking about. This is what people are waiting for. This is what the gems are being saved for. And before we get into it, a quick reminder, if you haven't seen yesterday's video, the giveaway is live. I have decided Sunday's gonna be the closing, so around about 12 o'clock Sunday UK time, that's when I'll hit the stop button bang in the random comment generator and we'll get a winner out for that giveaway so don't miss your chance now especially with this new event being announced that will certainly help somebody's account if you're trying to pull what we're about to look at so let's see what garbage i'm talking about into the notices there it is we are getting the second in the series of near replicant crossover event onto the mobile game and i think this is going to be sick I haven't done all too much research in what characters and that. I think I'm going to have a go look at that and I might put the video out tomorrow explaining what characters that I think you should be pulling for, what sort of skills I've got. Uh, I'll speak to all the JP players, search up all the, the sources that I have and try to get that information to you before it is released and that way you know what to kind of aim for. All we've got just now, September 7th, to, so it's a full month, so I can imagine uh, it's going to be the same as the automatic crossover event. Uh, with hopefully a really good store because the last one was kind of meh compared to what we have been getting but that's going to happen when you get such good events added to the game and something that doesn't quite match what you have been getting it gets looked down upon but it's still free stuff for farming events they give you stamina to do it so it costs you nothing so we ain't going to be bothered who we're going to get from replicant so this campaign features near replicant version 1.22 so that's the world ender Kane and Emil, the Emil I am I'm definitely gonna go for. I've seen tier lists where he's always placed high. I'm guessing he's a really good character, so yeah, I'll go dig some information out and let's see how good he truly is because I don't trust tier lists all too much. Everyone has a preference and play style, so the tier list changes depending on how you want to play. You can log in during the period to get gems, fantastic. So it'll probably be another 500 or something free gems for logging in. You can log in during the pent crossover. Wow. You can log in during the period to get gems and the crossover weapon. I am fantastic. They're doing well here. And yeah, that's all the information we have. Um, let's see if... I just can't remember. Is this when the uh, Automata Banner finishes? The Automata Banner finishes on the 8th. So... This should be crossing over. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, this is right because the update notices show in PST time for me, whereas this shows my actual game time, so at 3 in the morning. This stops at 2.59, then the minute after it, we should have the replicant banner. Um, so yeah. Another thing I was doing, so somebody commented on my YouTube yesterday and he basically suggested me to do something that I'd already been thinking of, but I wasn't too sure how big of a hit it would be, so... Basically, he's saying, he said, oh, why don't you do, like, team compositions and stuff like that. That is something that interests me because, well, I don't have, a, like, every character, but I have got a vast array of characters, and I don't mind working the resources up and building these characters. So if you would like to see some team composition builds and different like sort of methods like I'll, even, I'll happily even do two and three star characters if that's what you guys want to see because i know these can definitely be the hardest content if you build them properly weapons make a big difference so yeah bang in the comments below if you want to see the team composition sort of stuff and my take on how i'd go about formating a team that isn't just the meta gale a2 noel you know the usual stuff obviously you might not have all these characters because well if you haven't spent loads of money in the game you probably don't have a ton or if you didn't roll in the two times but with all your pities then yeah but yeah i think it could be interesting content if you just want to see that definitely let me know um i will have to admit i have been slack in the past couple of days um basically <laughs> i totally missed to do my dark daily so i'm going to do that now just after i got off this video i'm very sad because I definitely expect Levania to come to the game soon, and if I cannot get him relatively soonish, I'll be really sad. 
Uh, the new event, we smashed that. We got the gems. We didn't really get much for that. And as I done this, I realised, so if you aren't aware, I have a second account on this game. It was my main and I've stopped. So if you give me a minute, I'm going to look onto my main account and then I'm going to offer you guys something and you can tell me what you think. So give me one second and I'll be right back with you. So here we are guys, we are back on what was my main account. Um, <laughs> we haven't been on this in some time now. And basically, I think I want to give this away. Um, let's just have a look. So yeah, it's about 90k. Hold on, this is what I like to do, just to see what sort of... Um, so if you get into deck list, just to make sure you don't screw something up. So copy, select the deck list, copy it, take it down to slot 7 because it's free, paste it, ok, cancel, then we'll slide along to slot 7, and then just hit auto, any affinity, yeah so there you go, it's about 90, 92k, so it's not a bad account, um, the reason I, I can't manage two accounts, this game is very demanding on the grind, to, if you want to keep up, which I do, I like to not be as competitive at the top, but I definitely like to keep up with it, the average base of players. But if we go in here, look at the characters I've got. The A2 is maxed and everything else apart from 2P's 75. Got loads of other characters as well. Got the Summer of Care. Um, let's have a look at the weapons. I do have a good selection of weapons as well, obviously. Yeah, so that's everything that I've got sitting weapon-wise in the account. It does have the umbrella. Most of the weapons that are important that I'm using, they are evolved. I started on a dark weapon, the Gale's one-handed sword, so that's already up at stage five. Didn't bother going any further. But the main thing is, right, main quest, I don't even, did I do? Yeah, so I did chapter 11, did I do it on hard? Yeah, so the main quest up to date, so usually you'll have everything unlocked. Subquest, however, well, there you go, that just shows you I ain't even looked at this yet. Uh, Subquest, we've still got all of the coffin of repose, so that shop's untouched. All the gems from that is untouched, normal, hard, very hard. We have the memoir event here, it hasn't been touched, so there's another stack of gems for somebody. Um, these should all be finished by Jings, I hope. Um, I stopped progression, so I've done the 10th floor in that. 10th uh, floor in that. How I managed those with three stars, I have no idea. So the witch is still to be beaten on floor 10, so there's a little bit more gems. Griffin, still got 9 and 10 to beat. Character quests. So, Rion, which I have a copy of, still to do half of that, so there's more gems. Gale. She's the only one fully completed, I think. Maybe Demos is completed as well. Other than that, yeah, so Demos is completed. As you can see, there's floating gems about even in those that I haven't seen yet. So from here on, I believe it's pretty much Argos a few completed, still more. So I, I'm just trying to say, there's loads of gems sitting here. There is a giveaway going on, like I said at the start, that's also giving you a $100 gift card that you could use for more gems. Um. And we're going to get a new event coming out the 7th, which is going to add to more gems. So I reckon, let's see what, I, I don't even know what pities I'm sort of on. I can't even remember what I pulled. I didn't pull in any of this because I haven't played on it. So I'm almost halfway to a pity on the gale. Like, you don't really want to miss this. That's You can get your gale up. And I'm almost halfway, so... Even if you spend a little money on the account, you really want it to finish both the pities and use all the three gems that I've still got sitting about on the account because I've just neglected it pretty much. You can get a ton of summons in, and if you're lucky enough to win the gift card and grab this account, yeah. So let me know what you think. If it's something that you guys want, then obviously my 500 sub reduced it to 400. That's why the giveaway is live now, but. Maybe we can drag up to the 500 mark and push this account out to somebody because I'm very certain it's easy enough to transfer the data onto a different email. I'll just create a brand new email and give you full control of that, then you can take that on. 
but it's totally up to you guys. If you don't, just ignore the last four and a half minutes that I've been speaking, but I just thought it's a bit of a waste of just sitting here. I ain't going to manage two accounts. It's not a thing. So, yeah, let me know as well in the comments below if this is what you're wanting, as well as the previous question, and make sure bang a sub on the video and watch the previous video for instructions as to how to enter the giveaway. My Discord link is also on there as I, I imply you to come on into the Discord. It's pretty active, a good bunch of people in there, and that's how you're going to be able to contact me if you're that lucky person that wins. So, until the next video, guys, see ya.